All right. So now we answered the first two questions. We want to answer now how does the approximation error affect the solution, right? So again, we need to answer the question of stability. We want to see, okay, uh, does this equation exponentially amplify or exponentially decay any error added? To do that, we use von Neumann stability analysis again. So let's uh, write down the equation again. Big U, Ui plus 1 minus Ui minus 1 to delta x is equal to 0. So again, von Neumann stability analysis uses Fourier analysis. And uh, we just keep one term in the Fourier analysis because we analyze each term individually. So we assume Ui is equal to U of k for a particular wave number k times e to the j i k and uh, I forgot uh, a factor of 2 pi over n that should be in every uh, discrete Fourier series. So uh, this is in the domain of 0 to 2 pi. And uh, uh, in a domain of 0 to 2 pi with n grid point it is essentially a delta x would be equal to 2 pi over n, right? So, so you sometimes uh, see in some other uh, discrete Fourier series, it's actually uh, replaced by u of k times e to the j i k times delta x. That's also another way to write it. So this is i, uh, j i k. All right. So with that Fourier series, we can plug into this equation and derive what is the amplification factor. So ui plus 1 minus ui minus 1 divided by 2 delta x, let's don't forget this big U, I forgot that last time, would be equal to big U times a small u k. So that is common with respect to both of these. And then we get uh, something over 2 delta x, and that something is e to the i uh, j i plus 1 k. 2 pi over n minus e to the j i minus 1 k 2 pi over n. Right. Okay. So pull out the common term, which is e to the j i k 2 pi over n. What we get left is e to the j k 2 pi over n minus e to the j uh, minus j k. 2 pi over n divided by 2 delta x. Now last time we have something similar but it cancels out to be a purely real number. This time what does these two numbers subtract to? It gives me a sign but also a purely imaginary sign, right? The real part cancels. We are only left with the imaginary part. So what we have is a uh, uh, now look at this. This is just a ui, right? <coughs> ui times the amplification factor, which is the big U here, and then a purely imaginary number divided by 2 delta x. And the purely imaginary number is going to be 2 times j times sine of k 2 pi over n. So let's just uh, cancel this, uh, this 2 up here and down here. All right, so this is my lambda k, my amplification factor. So now who can tell me, is this stable or not? If I have an exact ODE solver, right? If I have an exact ODE solver, I would be solving dui over dt equal to this particular lambda k times ui, if ui is a sinusoidal wave of wave number k. Is this a stable spatial discretization? It's positive and imaginary, right. So if you draw the imaginary plane, this would lie, okay, so the k equal to zero is still zero, but for positive case, it'll be here. For negative case, it'll be here, right? 
and sine never goes above plus minus one. So so this case never goes above uh, u divided by delta x, and here would be minus u divided by delta x. So it'll stay on this range. How does an OD behave if how would you like this behavior if lambda k is purely imaginary? Huh? It's semi-stable, which means it neither decays nor grows. So what we found on this equation is that if we discretize it using central difference, any error that is added because of the discretization error it's not going to amplify exponentially, it's not also going to decay exponentially, it's just a lingering there forever. The error you get at any particular time is basically a superposition with no decay, but just a modification in the uh, basically a rotation in the complex plane of the error that is accumulated over all previous time steps. It is not a very good discretization. I mean, you won't see it goes, you, I mean, if you use a very good OD solver, you won't see this going up to 10 to the 50. But uh, the error is going to be there, it's going to be obvious, because after you solve it for a long enough time, the, the error never goes away. It just uh, keeps accumulating. Okay. Now, what if, if, what if I solve this using forward order? unstable you don't want to solve this equation discretized using central difference by forward order 